back everyone for another session of Ron Rum Rum Education. So today we're just going to dive right in and I'm going to present to you the rum we're going to be tasting. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to take another trip back to Jamaica. So I hope you had enjoyed my video a few weeks back on Ray and Nephew. So today we're going to talk about Hampton Estates Single Jamaican Rum. So Hampton Estate is 46% uh, ABV. It was founded in 1753. It's one of the oldest sugarcane estates in the country, founded by Mr. Archibald Sterling of Scotland. In 2018, the Hussey family partnered with La Maison Velière to manage the worldwide distribution of Hampton Estate rums. And... One thing I love is that Hamden Estate provides a lot of their information right here on the label. So it talks about like their distillation and their fermentation. So that's really nice. It's it's just like um the Clarin that's also distributed by Maison Villiers. And this rum is produced in Trelawney on the north side of Jamaica. Um, also home to the last Jamaican crocodiles. It is a molasses-based rum. And when doing my research on Hampton Estate, they attributed their success to five pillars. The first pillar was their natural source of spring water that collects in an uncontaminated reservoir. Their second pillar was their wild fermentation. Uh, Hampton Estate single Jamaican rum undergoes in a really extended wild fermentation using natural yeast. This produces a high level of esters, so very aromatic, and it also creates a hogo quality. So as I discussed in my previous video on Ray and Nephew, hogo is a funky mixture of aromas that range from mushroom to overripe bananas and fermenting tropical fruits. Third pillar is in regards to their distillation. So Hampton Estate single Jamaican rum undergoes a 100% artisanal distillation in copper double retort pot stills. So I was really curious to know how does double retort pot stills compare to regular copper pot stills and what are the benefits? And so according to Artisan Spirits Magazine online, because of the excess in time and money using pot, traditional pot stills, Caribbean distillers in the 17th or 18th century had the idea to hook up multiple pot stills together to be able to do multiple distillations at once. The fourth pillar that Hampton Estate attributes to the success in their Jamaican rum is their eight-year aging process completed entirely in Jamaica and that's the equivalent to 25 years of aging in Europe. The fifth pillar is that Hampton Estate has natural color, no sugar is added. And just like the label says, they try and keep it very genuine. The rums in the blend are aged in used American oak barrels. According to Imbibe Magazine, Hampton Estate is one of only two of Jamaica's six operating rum distilleries to still use muck pits. Muck pits are biologically rich bacterial cultures nurtured for generations. It's a brew of molasses, cane juice, uh, dunder, which I'll explain in a moment what that means as well, and other organic substances. When muck is then added to a ferment, it produces a spectacularly pungent rum. Now let's talk about dunder. Dunder is that leftover stillage, that goo left over after a pot distillation run. It's rich in acids um, and it can be thrown into ferments to create even more ester. And now we're gonna get to taste Hampton Estate. Let's see, let's give it a little nose. Look at that really nice nice color. Let's give it a nose. Mm, I get like that like really nice pineapple, sweet pineapple. Like maybe like green apple. 
some banana and also like baking spice, like some nutmeg. Still like that rich funk in there. Maybe like some dried herbs. First taste is to awaken your palate. I can see like where like you would get that mushroomy qualities like it's like now it's super earthy but I also get um I kind of think like green jalapenos like that really vegetal green note that's what I kind of get like green jalapeno was what really something I'm getting so very vegetal that mushroom quality I'm also it, it because of like the those high esters I'm getting also a medicinal quality. It's like, got a lot of like tropical fruit and spices on the nose and then it gets like bitter, medicinal, vegetal, green vegetal. Just adds a few drops of water to open it up. See, now that I added the water, I'm getting a bit of florality, some floral notes. It's like, now I'm getting like spice notes. It's like a dry, dry rum. It has like this really long, beautiful finish. And I'm really excited to try it in a cocktail. Let's hop on over. Okay, everyone. So for today, I decided I wanted to do a Hampton Estate Rum Sour. So I'm going to start off with a dash of celery bitters to play on those like green notes. We're going to do a dash of Angostura bitters, three quarter ounces fresh lime juice, three quarter ounces fresh ginger syrup. I start off with an ounce and three quarters of Hampton Estate. And we're gonna do an ounce of my pineapple albumine. So I took tapache that I had and mixed that with egg white powder. I'm gonna dry shake. Tasting, I feel like we could add an extra quarter ounce of lime juice. Let's try shake it again. Grate some lime zest on top. Fresh lime zest to complement all those green and bright tropical notes. Mm. Cheers! Mm -hmm. 